Hi, I'm Austin O'Neill, and right now I'm going to run through some backline, right, back side of your body, some elastic and plastic stretching. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on into it. First off, we're going to stand feet underneath our hips, okay, nice and tall and engaged, right? That's what makes this kind of stretching different. We're going to really try and rotate kind of our legs out while anchoring them into the ground. You can even grab the ground with your, your toes and get that toe dexterity here and we're actually going to come down road kind of curling in one vertebrae at a time we're going to clasp our hands behind our head and crunch in towards our belly button okay so i'm going to try and do these to count at the same time we're going to go for 20 reps so from here there you go two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 19, 20. Good, I know it's hard to hear me probably when I'm counting and doing these, but we're really trying to just kind of curl everything in. We're actually gonna lock out our knees, right? I know it's typically frowned upon, but in this type of stretching, it's nice and controlled. It's nice and safe because we just want to get everything engaged and kind of curling through. So we're getting that whole back line into it all the way up through our skull, okay? So that's that one. Of that movement, we're gonna actually come down on the floor. And this time we're gonna get the same thing, nice lower body engagement. We're gonna point our toes towards us, right? Squeezing everything together and close. And this time we're gonna kind of just reach, right? So we're just gonna kind of reach past our toes the best we can. If we get kind of like this kind of stretching, that's good. That's elastic stretching up here in the arm lines. Um, but yeah, just reaching into that, right? This elastic stretching, uh, we're going after the fascia. And with this stretching, we're kind of trying to get that breakage of fascia so it'll re reform into kind of a more functional, right? If we're getting more mobility, um, kind of range of motion. So let's get into it. One, two, reach. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep that lower body engaged. Shake it out, back up. I'm gonna do that two more sets. So starting nice and engaged here, pelvis tucked, hands behind the head, and curl them in. Up out of it slowly. Good, shake it out. Back down to the floor. Engage. Maybe this set we're tucking our chin for this one to try and get that whole back line again. So here, engaged. Engage. I'll try one, two, three, four, five, six, reach, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, eighteen, 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 nineteen, twenty. Good, check it out. Coming up. Last set here. Gauge, hands behind the head, crunching in. Six, seven, eight, nine, up and back. Nine, ten. Good, up slowly. Good, shake it up. Good. 
back to the floor. Good. Engage. I'm gonna tuck my chin again. You do whatever's comfortable. But I'm gonna try and get everything into it. Here. Go to all fours and we're just gonna really get into a nice hunter cat position here tucking the pelvis in hunching in rotating the arms back maybe a slight lean and really just try and spread those shoulder blades apart again trying to get that back line in the upper back Good. Okay, next up we're gonna walk, work into the plasticity of the fascia. All right, in those same two movements, all right? What makes this type of stretching different is we're really engaged. We're not just relaxed um, and just kind of being dead weight. We're trying to stay active to get this thing called reciprocal inhibition going. Basically, it loosens you up, okay? And plus fascia could be limiting your mobility, say you're muscle itself is getting super um, mobile and stretched out um, but if the fascia is still tight right um, that could be limiting your mobility too in places right same idea okay so now into the plasticity right so again engage everything in and instead when we get into that position we're gonna hold it for about five to eight breaths okay so coming in Pulling in, take deep breaths. Staying engaged. Good, come on up out of it slowly. Good, back to the floor. Same thing, but now we're gonna curl in and keep that lower body engaged and really reach. So, engaged, toes pulled back. Deep belly breaths, reaching, pulling back on the toes. And then up on out of it slowly. Engage it, hands behind your head, and coming on into it. Stay engaged, deep belly breaths. Elbows towards your belly button, chin towards your chest, and up on out of it. Slowly. Good. Last one. Down here. Engage. I'm going to do a better job of tucking my chin for this one to my chest. Alright, set your attention and into it. Again, now I'm working my 
kind of nose towards my belly button as I kind of reach and stay engaged getting that whole back half of your body engaged keep that lower body engaged everything squeezed together toes pointed or flexed sorry 